Hello, friends. Okay, wait for everyone to get here and then we'll get started. So I had to do my hair and I was like, I'll just do it with them. I, my hair's looking crazy. So dirty. <laughs> but sometimes dirty hair makes for the best hair because then we get like some really gorgeous, um, like beachy waves. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to leave you guys my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find everything I'm going to use on sale. And then if you missed it, I went live um, just now on Facebook and I did a makeup look. We did the stick foundation, which is so good for dry skin. And then we talked about what's back in stock, like the lip butter I'm wearing, which is limited edition. So super fun. Super fun stuff. All right, hold on, let me get a different brush. I had it out here. Okay, so Lawn is having so many fun deals. So they're having a brush deal where if you buy two, you get one free. And that sale is called three for one. And then they're having a BOGO sale on buy one, get one for tools. And that code is BOGO tools. It's not on all tools, but it's on a lot of them. Um, and then they're also having their Memorial Day sale still going on, I think. And that is 40% off. 40 and 30% off select products. So that's still going on. So we have so much to talk about. There's so many good sales, so many good deals, um, which you can find all of the best deals and the current offers and the current sales. Cause I don't know if you're gonna watch this on the replay. I don't know if you're gonna watch this in a week, a month, a year. Um, so if that's the case, I went ahead and left you guys my link right here in the comments. So that is the link to find out what the current offer is, whether it's, you know, whatever any offer it's there so when you're going to style your hair for beachy waves first thing to do is to brush your hair obviously this one's my favorite brush it's called the sienna paddle brush it's brand new for the size from Lange. it is a really pretty uh like matte blush pink it's so gorgeous it feels so good on your hair it doesn't pull your hair out like some other crappy brushes do but it like so good. All right, so next product to use is the Style Revival Dry Shampoo. And this is my favorite shampoo, dry shampoo, because look how, see how it sprays clear, sprays white like that. So, and look at the volume. You guys, this is so good. Um, so with this dry shampoo, I love it because not only is it gonna absorb any oil, any odor, it's also going to give you so much volume and texture in your hair. And it also helps with, um, like giving you that PC look. So once you've done that, you can use a heat shield or heat revival, heat thermal magique or any of the other um, heating protective products, but I just didn't grab any. It's in my bathroom and I don't feel like going upstairs. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? While we wait for my La Duo to heat up. Good, good. Don't everyone talk at once. So I am gonna section off my hair. Launch just did relaunch uh, or restock, I should say. They're alligator clips. These are the best at sectioning off your hair. So I like to work in about this much at a time. And then when I am curling my hair, I'll do like one inch sections at a time, which I'll show you as soon as this turns on. So to turn on your LaDuo, it's super simple. You're just gonna press and hold the power button and then you're gonna click the power until it's selected on the temperature you want. It'll blink like this when it is selected and then see how the fan just kicked on. If you don't want the fan, you can easily just turn it off or if you do want it, turn it on. Um, you can use it with or without the fan. What the fan does is it sets the curls while you're curling it. So if you have ever done your hair and you curl it and then you go like this to keep the bounce of the curl, you don't have to do that with this tool. It does it for you with those little air vents. So we're gonna just start one inch sections at a time, turning away from your face and then pull downward. What's really nice and easy about the LaDuo from Lange is that this tool is the perfect learning tool. It curls like a curling iron, 
but like a flat iron too. It's the coolest and weirdest thing ever. It's awesome because of the clamp. It makes it really easy. It has one inch plates, so you get like really nice little barrel curls. And like I said, it just is so simple. Are you using the Laduo Grande or the original? I'm using the Laduo original. If you have longer hair than I do, if your hair is um, past your shoulders, that's when I would use the Laduo Grande. If your hair is my length or shorter, I would do the normal Laduo. So with dry shampoo, if your hair is feeling gritty, you could have just used too much or held it too close. Um, but I really do encourage you to try the Style Revival shampoo. I love that one. I feel like it doesn't feel gritty because it has like curatine in it. So it's going to be really uh, soft. Even like from massaging it into my roots, my hands feel hydrated. So you're not going to feel that way with the Style Revival dry shampoo. And then again, just kind of moving up a section and then we're going to curl again. Yes, absolutely. If you have curly hair, you can still use this tool. Your curls just might look a little different because you have a different texture to your hair, but absolutely. Thank you so much. So if you missed it, I did just do my makeup live here on Facebook and we talked all about the June special. There's huge sales happening over there as well. So check out that video after you're done watching this one. And then if you guys need any help, like I was saying, just message me here on Facebook and I can help you pick out your products or your tools or anything if you're unsure what products that you are. Like what shampoos, conditioners, any of that. Best thing for humidity, um, the Thermal Magique is amazing. It's a humidity protectant actually. So Thermal Magique for sure. And then definitely a dry shampoo to help to absorb any of the oils. But absolutely the Thermal Magique. So if you do need a personalized recommendation, all I need from you is to know what type of hair you have. So call, or write hair care and then say what kind of hair you have. So say hair care, oily hair, hair care, dry hair, hair care, normal hair. I don't know. Whatever you have, whatever you think you have, just comment that and then I can help give you a personalized recommendation of what shampoo you should use, what tool you should use, what after shower products to use. I was actually talking to my friends yesterday and we were talking about how many products we use before and during the shower. And I was really surprised to hear their answers. So I'm gonna ask you guys, cause I'm curious, just straight curious now. During your shower routine, how many products do you use? For example, one girl used one product before she gets in the shower, shampoo and conditioner, and um, one product when she got out of the shower. I personally use one product before the shower, two products in the shower, and four products after the shower. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's so much. I'm like, really? I thought that was like normal. So how many products do you use when you are showering to do your hair? When you're washing your hair, I should say. How many products do you use? Like beforehand, during, and after. I want to know. Okay, but what about after the shower, Heather? Do you use products afterwards or beforehand? And none when you get out. Okay, so that was like another, that was one of the girls. She didn't use anything when she got out of the shower, just two products in the shower. And then one girl used two products in the shower, none before, and one after. So she was three, one was two. I'm what, four, five, six? <laughs> what about you? How many products? Comment below. We want to know. Okay, so doing that top layer is always my favorite because I feel like it really like makes or breaks the look. And then what I do too is I'll kind of take random pieces off the top and like put a little bit more intentional curls in them. And this will really help with like that helmet look so it doesn't look super flat on top. Thank you. I usually get my hair done once a month, but my sister's getting married next Friday. So I'm like holding off on my hair appointment so I could get real close to her wedding. So my hair looks super fresh for the event. But with that makes my hair, we're going real long time between hair appointments. Before none, two in, and depends on what I'm doing after, but two to four. Okay, two to four. 
Two in the shower, three after. Okay. Two in the shower, three after. Okay, you guys are making me feel less like a freak <laughs> for using so many after. But like the ones I use after, like one's a volumizer, one's a heat protectant, one's like a three in one or whatever. Like they all do certain things, you know? Maybe because I have blonde hair. The color of my hair is called Platinum Blonde. And I actually have how my stylist gets my hair color saved on my Instagram. So if you want to see like the combination she uses, um, I have it saved there on my highlights on Hair360. So I have pictures of 360 photos of my hair at different lengths that I've had. And then I also have like her regimen of what she uses on my hair. We're well, just super extra. I love that, Jennifer. Three in the shower, two and three after. Okay, okay. Love that. Good to know. Because I'm starting to work on like some uh, recommendations because I want to have like some easy to read things for you guys when you're like, gosh, I want to shop some products. What should I get? I want to know like how many should I be recommending? So that kind of helps me. So thank you. So I'd say the common number is five. That's what I'm getting at. Two in the shower, two to three after. Just shampoo and conditioner. See, that's totally normal too. Using products after the shower, I will say, definitely make a big difference. Depending on what your hair is like, whether you have thin, dry hair, you should be using some hydrating products after because when you get out of the shower, that's the most vulnerable your hair will ever be. When it's wet, like sopping wet, that's the most vulnerable your hair ever is. And that's when breakage and like, frizziness, dryness, all of that can happen. Now I had to get this stuck in there. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. You're hilarious. So I will say, if you had typed, you only use one or two products, meaning that you only use shampoo and conditioner, you need to message me today. <laughs> Not saying you're doing it wrong, but you could be doing it better. <laughs> So if you answered one or two, message me. Let's get you at least one product to put in your hair when it's wet in its most vulnerable state. <laughs> like if you're like, gosh, my hair's so thin. I have a product for you to use after the shower that will help not make your hair so thin. If you're like, oh my gosh, my hair's so dry. I can recommend a product to put in after the <laughs> shower to make your hair not feel so dry. So message me or on Facebook and I can give you a recommendation. If I do shower at night before bed, two in the shower, one after when showering in the AM before work, two in the shower, three after. That's so funny, Tara, because I would have, if I hadn't like pressed to see more, I would have guessed it would be opposite. Because when you go to bed, um, again, not to sound like craziness, but when you go to bed and your hair is wet, again, most vulnerable your hair will ever be and to sleep on wet hair. They say it's really bad for your hair, but I mean, if you're sleeping on a silk pillowcase, you're fine. But if you're not putting any like hydrating, like protectant products in your hair as it dries, you'll, you, you'll lose a lot of that natural moisture in your hair, into your pillowcase, into your sheets, in your bed. When it's air drying, that's actually the most like best your hair will ever be. So that's actually when you could use less product. So if your hair is frizzy, I got you, girl. Message me. You can't sleep on wet hair. I was like that too for a long time, and then I switched to using silk pillowcases, and now I can. But when I do sleep with wet hair, I always make sure that I have like really hydrating, locking in products in my hair. Because like I said, when we go to bed and our hair, our wet hair hits those cotton pillowcases or whatever pillowcases, um, we lose a lot of those nice proteins from our hair. So like I said, message me and let's get you set up. So for thinning hair, Lange actually has a whole thinning line that actually not acts as Rogaine, but it like helps to regrow your hair. Uh, it's a whole regimen, however, like I was talking to someone and she was like, you're supposed to do all these things. I'm like, yeah, it's like a regimen. So it will help your hair be like thicker and healthier. Uh, but you got to be willing to do the work. So if you're like, yes, willing to do the work, message me and I can give you a recommendation on that. 
Okay, so curling the back side now. And I just kind of feel it with my hands. I just grab, turn. Same thing here. And I try to stick with the whole like one inch section. What can I put in my hair after the shower that it's thin? So I really love the volumizing mousse. It's a really, really good one. Um, and I also like it because it also has carotene in it and some other really hydrating ingredients. So although you're getting like volume, you're also going to get um, a lot of hydration too. If you're blow drying your hair, and this goes for anyone, I don't care what hair type you have, get the glass hair. The glass hair product is the most phenomenal hair product I've ever tried in my whole life. It is so hydrating. It helps with volume, helps with texture, helps with just like so sleek. Oh my gosh, it looks, it makes your hair look phenomenal. So if you're gonna blow dry your hair, glass hair. So this tool is called the Laduo from Lange. It is so fabulous. It gives your hair the best curls, so pretty. And then last thing I'm gonna use is this right here. This is called the Salt and Sea Texturizing Pomade. And it looks like this. And what you do is you just, you smoosh it between your fingers like this. And then we're gonna kind of tossle our hair with it. And that's gonna help with texture and volume. And then whatever's left over, I will lay any flyaways down. I'll kind of pull up my hair like this. And that always helps too, but so good. There we are. So thanks for getting ready with me, you guys. Uh, let me know if you guys need any help. If you are someone who had a question on what products to use, what products to get, message me here on Facebook so I can give you personalized help. So I'm not kind of like, oh, you should maybe try this, but message me here. So message me on Facebook by tapping my name. A window is gonna pop down and you'll see my name right there, Raya Hope. Click that and it will take you to my Facebook page and you can message me there. So let me know how I could be of any help to you guys. I love you, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Go check me out over on Instagram next. My name there is Rhea Hope. So I'll see you soon. Bye.